guys, it's Sonia. How have you been? I am doing very well, much better now that I'm back from vacation. Some of you know that I took a little trip and it was a much needed trip. Um, it was a last minute spontaneous trip that me and three other friends of mine took. We went to um, St. Croix. And this is my first trip ever to the Vir U.S. Virgin Islands. And it was beautiful, wonderful, beautiful, restful. It was so needed. You know how you don't know you need something until you actually just go and do it. And that's how it was for me. We were gone for five days and it was just so nice. St. Croix is a beautiful island. I believe it's the biggest island of all the other islands, um, but also the less popular island because I know most people go to St. Thomas or um, what's the other one, but St. Croix has a lot to offer and I definitely will be going back. So, while there, you know, we stayed right in the thick of things. Our hotel was like just right there in the middle of everything within walking distance of restaurants and just everything. So that was a nice perk. Um, so we didn't need to rent a car. We didn't have to Uber or anything because everything was within walking distance of the city or the downtown area. And... We spent a lot of time walking and exploring and I took a billion pictures and we came across a lot of small shops, a lot of uh, black businesses. And one of them was owned by this uh, young lady um, who's a nurse and she started her own um, beauty line like skin and hair care line and it's called Cultured. And her shop was just so cute. And I will provide information of how you can shop with her because you can buy online and she does ship and she just has a flat rate for shipping. Um, but she had so much to offer in her shop. She makes vegan products um, for your hair and skin and especially for those who may have sensitive skin who may have skin issues um, Her products are very skin friendly and they're vegan all natural For your body and for your hair she makes she has a line of essential oils different scents body sprays she makes her own hand sanitizers she makes candles. I mean, you name it, she makes it. Her shop smells so good. She has body butters, oils. I mean, just some of everything to choose from. And she was super sweet. Um, when we walked in, her intern was there, this young gentleman named, um, oh, what was his name? It was a very unique name and we loved it. And I'm, how could I forget? It'll come to me later. But anyway, um, he was he was on the phone with her and we came in and um, we were a lively bunch and um, she hung up with him and hurried to the store so she can meet us. So it was just funny. She was super nice, super sweet, very pretty. So we shopped, honey. We went back to her shop like I, I want to say three times before we left and just really gave her a lot of business. And I just want to share some of the things that I bought that I wanted. Um, she also has locks. And um, so of course, I leaned more towards the products that, you know, that I could use on my hair. So one of the first things I bought was her reviving shampoo. And as you can see, it's clear. And it's a clarifying shampoo that also conditions with sea moss and passion fruit oil. It's an eight ounce, eight fluid ounce. And um, 
this shampoo of course when you first apply it when you first shampoo it doesn't quite lather at first but the second um shampoo it lathers really really well and um it does leave your hair feeling clean while i was on vacation i did not plan on um washing my hair unless i absolutely needed to like if i got in, into the water when we went to the beach I never submerged my head under the water, um, but I did just feel like I need to wash my hair. So I did wash my hair while I was on vacation. I used this and it was really nice. Um, the second thing I bought was the Reviving Conditioner and Co-Wash. Now, this is thick. I did not use this on my hair. I'm going to give this to my daughter who was still a loose natural. Um, and this is, yeah, reviving conditioner and co-wash, purifies, nourishes, hydrates with sea moss and passion fruit oil. And again, it's, it's thick. And as a matter of fact, I don't think I ever even opened it. No. Can you see? <gasps> I did that. So yeah, just to show you that it is kind of on the thick side and, you know, having locks. Oh, well, no, it's not too thick. You don't want to use, um, you know, thick conditioners in your hair because you don't want to have buildup later. So yeah, I'm going to skip on using this on my hair and instead I'm going to let my daughter use this on her natural hair. But, you know, I just figured if I bought the shampoo, I'll, I'll get the conditioner that goes with it. Now, lastly, what I bought was this. And this is a penetrating oil treatment. It stimulates follicles, seals moisture with nettle and passion fruit oil. So again, these are all eight ounce bottles. And um, I've been using this. I was I used this um, after I washed my hair when I was on vacation. I oiled my scalp with it. I put some in my palm and, you know, just kind of ran it down my locks. And I just love it. It has tea tree oil in it. Um, and some other great oils. Jojoba, coconut oil, um... Jamaican vegan castor oil, peppermint oil, a whole bunch of good stuff. And the tea tree is good for those who may have scalp issues. It helps with itching. It helps with a lot of things, the peppermint. And you can smell it. You get a little, a teeny tiny tingling sensation. But I love this. I think it's a great hair oil to use. So those are some of the things that I bought from her shop. I did not get any body products, um, but again, you can shop online and I do plan on doing that later, shopping um, off of her website. Some of the things that I loved seeing while in St. Croix was, of course, I felt at home having locks and just the number of people with locks. There were so many people with locks, long locks, down to their ankles or past their butts, men and women. Um, I saw locks of all sizes, styles, colors, like, you know, um, you name it, I saw it, except for the wicks. I didn't see any wicks, but just, you know, some had, you know, micros, some had, um, traditional, most had traditional locks, but that just made me feel so at home and like, you know, I, I should have took pictures, you know, I think I was, I was a little bit too shy to ask like, Hey, can I take your picture? Can I take a picture of your hair? <laughs> Be that weird old tourist, but, um, yeah, it just felt good seeing it. I felt so at home and um, the different ways that they styled their locks, if they styled their locks, not everybody, you know, styled their locks, but, and I want to say something about the heat, you know, in St. Croix, being on the island, it's a totally different heat. When I'm here at home and when it gets really hot in the 80s and 90s, 
I cannot stand for my hair to be down. I have to put this stuff up. I'll put in a ponytail on top of my head. But the entire time I was in St. Croix, I did not put my hair up. My hair did not make me sweat. I didn't feel all like just hot and you know what I mean? And I love that. Like I didn't feel the need to do that. I wasn't sweaty. Their heat is so different. Like their heat is pretty, their temperature is pretty consistent. It's like with high 80s, um, mid to high 80s, I'll say it, it may on occasion get to 90 but that's, it doesn't happen often. It's just usually mid to <clears throat> mid 80s, high 80s, and that's about it. Now, the humidity is on a whole other level. The humidity is what makes you, makes it feel like it's hotter than what it is. But even still, that humidity still did not make me feel like putting my hair up. I wore my hair down the entire time I was on vacation. And I love that. Like I never touched my hair. I never felt the need to tuck away my hair, to cover my hair. And I probably should have, you know, being in the sun a lot. Um, but I just didn't want to. And I brought head wraps. Like I brought two different head wraps with me. And I never used them, at least not when I was out and about. I just, I let my hair just be. When we went to the beach, you know, none of us had hats. We all wish we had, you know, some kind of sun hat, but we had umbrellas, you know, to sit under. But, um, you know, when I went and got in the water, I never submerged my hair. That Atlantic Ocean water is so so extremely salty i did not realize how salty that water is but it felt so good it's like a soft the water is so soft even you know at the hotel taking a shower it just felt better it felt different because here our water is very hard it's very just ugh. you know we have our water here and it felt good taking a shower every single day in that soft water which of course is much better for your skin so um those were just some of the things that i noticed and experienced again it was a beautiful beautiful vacation i'm glad i went um even though it was um kind of very it was it was last minute but I was down and we found some good deals and so we went and we had a blast and we were there for five days. And um, they were five days well spent. We had wonderful food, we had wonderful drinks. We saw the sights. Some of my friends jet skied and did all that adventurous stuff. I'm not that adventurous. I'm not, you know, I sat on the beach and watched them, but yeah, I'm not that adventurous at all but um it was a good time so that's where i was i hope all of you have been okay and um i hope your locks are growing and thriving and everybody is staying safe and healthy and while we were in st croix st croix you know they're still part of the u.s and so they adhere to the same covid restrictions and they still require you to wear a mask when you're out and wear a mask in all businesses. It doesn't matter what it is. And they have these signs on every door, no mask, no service. So you must wear a mask inside of businesses. They still want you to wear a mask outside, which I think is smart. So we were all very much safe. We kept our masks on when we were supposed to. Um, yeah, so, but that's the one thing is I have never worn my mask so much in my life. You know, we, you know, from the airports to the airplanes um, to stepping foot into St. Croix, you had to keep a mask on. And my nose got super sore like around here just from wearing my mask so much, but it was worth it. Um, 
it's all about keeping everybody safe and keeping yourself safe. So you do what you got to do. I didn't mean for this video to be this long, but I just want to share with you guys what I've been up to, where I've been. And um, I will talk to you later. So like, comment, subscribe, share, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.